Hey guys, it's 2 Gaming here, and welcome back to Emily is Away. So, last episode, we have completed Chapter 1 and 2. So, let's get into Chapter 3. The first video's quality wasn't as good as this one. I'm well aware of it. It was my first time doing YouTube. And I wasn't really sure what to do, but now, I think I have a decent setup for the start of my channel. And let's begin. So it's 2004 sophomore year. For some reason, my uh, my thing. How do you say it? My uh, cursor. You have to put it beside the thing you want to select because I don't know why. But the only way you you can select something is to put it right on the left side of the screen, beside your icon for example the bunny right here I can't click on the bunny or it'll jump down to the tiger so I have to put it on the bear or dog I'm not really sure to select the bunny so I'm gonna choose the elephant and okay okay let's play oh yeah I, I typed in damn Daniel as my name for this game so bear with me here so what to do, what to do? I'm gonna do Emily Hay. Okay. We haven't talked in a while, what to say, what to say? Eh, it's whatever, seems a little douchey. I'm gonna do it's good, it seems a lot more natural. Any plans? Warehouse party? Going to a show or hanging out? I'll do hanging out. It seems natural as I said last time. Ooh, Emily is getting a little suspicious with our relationship with Emma. A girl I like would just destroy my chances with Emily, or I could possibly make her jealous by saying just a girl, but I'm gonna do a friend because it's like the safest route you can possibly go. I really like the typing feature of this game. Come on. Oh cool, I don't think I've heard, it, heard you talk about her before. How did you two meet? Just in class, at a party, Mike introduced us. Uh, I forgot who Mike was. It's been a long time since I uploaded like video. Well, not that long. But, just in class seems like the most likely situation, like the safest situation you can choose. At a party seems a little risque, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna do just in class. All right. Do you like her? Emily is definitely trying to see if we like Emma or like we just forgot about her, okay? But which one should I choose? Definitely, as I said, we'll just destroy our relationship with Emily. I don't know. We'll still make her a little jealous or a little suspicious, and no, not really seems like the safest one. So I'm gonna do no, not really. I'm going safe on this one, but bear with me here. Oh, wow, damn Daniel, sounds like things are going really well. That's just so great. Well, thank you, Emily. So how's everything? What are you up to tonight? Do you have any plans this weekend? Those are our choices. So, let's see. So, how's everything tonight? So, how's everything? Seems like you what you would say in a casual conversation. What are you up to tonight? Seems kind of odd. Do you have any plans this weekend? Seems like we're asking her out. Uh, I'm gonna go a little risky here and choose. Do you have any plans this weekend? 
All right. Well, me and Brad were supposed to go to see a show, but that's not happening. We broke up last week. Ooh. All right. Good riddance. Seems like a bad option to choose. I had no idea. Or I'm so sorry. Those two are our main options we can choose. I had no idea. Seems like, uh, what am I saying? This is a hard choice. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry seems more compassionate about the situation. So I'm gonna choose I'm so sorry because that'll make sure that uh, we're basically giving her the message that we care for her. So that's a pretty good choice to choose. So I'm gonna choose I'm so sorry. All right. I'm okay, it's just been really weird since me and him had the same group of friends, so things are messy. I just feel really alone, you know? I understand, I'm here for you, people are stupid, those are our choices. Alright, I'm here for you, would be our safest bet, because that just shows that we care for Emily, as I said. I understand, seems like... It seems like we're pushing into the friend zone if we say that, and people are stupid. Just, I don't think that's gonna work well in this situation, because this is this is a serious situation. So I'm gonna choose. I'm here for you. I really hate the button thing right here. I know, and thank you for that. I just feel really abandoned. Why did you break up? They were really poopy friends. So how are you classes? So those are our choices. We can choose to completely avoid this conversation by choosing three. So how are classes? We can push into the push more and pry more into the situation with why did you break up? Or two, just completely bomb it. So I'm gonna choose one because I'm very curious, like, what happened. Guess we just kind of grew apart. I feel like Brad changed a lot over the summer. And things were just different when we got back. Oh man, now I'm starting to cry. So, our choices are please don't cry. I'm so sorry, he's not worth it. So, Emily is obviously really emotional about this conversation. I'm so sorry. Would be good, but I'm not sure which to choose because all of these are pretty good. Please don't cry seems a, uh, I don't think that's a really good choice. He's not worth it. I'm leading more into he's not worth it. It's more reassuring. All that weird things happening right now. Thanks, I'm sorry for being such a mess. So, Emily is in a state of distress right now. So, what to choose, what to choose. You're not a mess. I'll always be here for you. Or, I care about you. I care about you seems like our best bet. Or I'll always be here for you. I'm gonna choose I'll always be here for you because that seems more nice and more caring. I care about you. I'm not sure if that would work well with her. Emily will remember that. Thank you, it's nice to be able to talk about this. I haven't really had the chance to vent yet. Okay, well, of course, no problem. I know you'd be the same. I don't think these choice, this one doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna choose the one that I would choose in this situation, which is, well, of course.
I want to ask you something, but I'm afraid you'll hate me after. Ooh, what is this? Promise me you won't hate me. I promise I could never hate you or just ask the question. Just ask the question seems a like a really rude. I promise, I feel like we're pushing more into the friend zone here. And I could never hate you. Seems like the most caring and more the most compassionate choice here. I'm gonna choose this one. At Travis's party senior year. Ooh, what is this? Remember how we got bored and went for that walk? We stopped at the playground for a bit. And we just laid there and looked at the stars. Well, why didn't you kiss me? Ooh! Why didn't he make the move? Why? Why didn't damn Daniel make the move? The choices are, I don't know. I didn't want to screw things up. I didn't know you felt that way. I didn't know you felt that way seems like it's just gonna completely destroy our chances with Emily. I don't know. Seems a little... Like, it's not a great choice. Because it seems like you're very dense. I didn't want to screw things up. Like, it solidifies our... Uh, well, how do you say it? it? It reassures Emily that we did like her at that time. Which would have been a great thing if damn Daniel just kissed her, but... Alright, let's see what she says. Emily will remember that, so it was an important choice that we chose that. I've just always wondered how things would be if you did. I also wonder too, damn Daniel. I don't know, it's kind of stupid, I guess. I wonder that too. I wish I had kissed you. You should have told me. In the top three. That we could have chose. I wondered that too. I'm not sure if that would work. You should have told me. That just seems like you didn't really care. But I'm gonna choose I wish I had kissed you. Because that seemed like our best chances right now. The drama's brewing up. Okay, I have an idea. Maybe I could come visit this weekend. Ooh! Ooh! I could really use some time away from the school. And we always said we would visit each other. What do you think? Please come visit. As long as it's just as friends. Nope. Definitely not that one. Not a good idea. Nope. Please come visit. Alright. Great. Oh man, now I'm really excited. Oh, what about your plans with Emma? I'll make up some excuse, I'll talk to her about it, I can ditch her. I can ditch her is definitely not good. I'll make up some excuse, is definitely not good. Because I feel like those two would end up brewing up some crazy drama. And I'll talk to her about it seems like the more normal approach to the situation, so I'm gonna choose I'll talk to her about it. Okay, just don't want to me mess things up. What do you want to do this weekend? Hang out in my dorm? Go to some parties? Some stuff around campus? I feel like hang out in my dorm seems like a pretty good choice. Go to some parties. I don't think it's gonna go well if we do that. So I'm gonna do hang out in my dorm. Yeah, definitely, I have some. We don't need any. I'm just gonna do... I have some. I have some. I don't think this... This really matters in this situation, but... Okay. Okay, I'm so excited to finally come and visit. Oh, poo. I actually have to run. But I'll see you this weekend, okay? Of course, see you soon. Talk to you later. Of course. Of course. Emily is away. Thank you for watching. Chap, thank you for joining me. 
in this little adventure in chapter 3. If you want to see more, like the video, subscribe, and peace.